All right, let's try another one. Let's sketch um, f of x equals 3 to the negative x. All right, so remember the three points, f of 1 equals 3 to the negative 1, which is 1 third. f of 0 is 3 to the 0, which is just 1. And then f of negative 1 is 3 to the negative negative 1. Well, that just becomes 3 to the 1, which is 3. Let's see how this one comes out. So at one we have one third, at zero we have one, and at negative one we have three. So this thing is going to look something like this. So this is 1, 1 third, 0, 1, negative 1, 3. Good. Now notice that we still maintain our parent function shape. And really, we could have, um, I mean, basically this graph is the equation of the original graph reflected over the y-axis. And we could have predicted that because you know, we have a negative inside the function, and if we remember from our parent function technique, a negative inside the function is a reflection over the y-axis. So that makes sense. Now there's two other versions of this. Let's say we had f of x equals one-third x. Well, this is the same as 3 to the negative 1 to the x, which is the same as 3 to the negative x. So f of x equals 1 third x would be exactly the same as this graph right here. Now we wouldn't do this type of thing. We would go through our 1, 0, negative 1, but you would end up with that same graph. And then let's say we have f of x equals one third to the negative x, which then becomes three to the negative one to the negative x, which becomes three to the x. And so that would look exactly the same as this one. Okay, so there's our first basic graphs of our exponential functions. Now let's look at a couple of transformations with our exponential functions. All right, so now that we have our exponential function and we have our parent function, we can now move this thing around. So let's say we want to sketch a graph f of x equals 4 to the x minus 2 power. Okay, so first of all we want to know what is our parent function? And our parent function is f of x equals 4 to the x. So we have our three main points, f of 1 is 4 to the 1, which is 4, f of 0 is 4 to the 0, which is 1, and f of negative 1 is 4 to the negative 1, which is 1 fourth. So when we sketch our parent function, We 
have 1 and 4, 0 and 1, negative 1 and 1 fourth. So it looks something like this. 1, 4, 0, 1, negative 1, 1 fourth. Now let's look at f of x equals 4 x to the minus 2 power. Okay, so we have to think. If I am subtracting 2 inside the function, what does that do to our parent function? And in this case, if I'm subtracting 2 inside the function, that means we're moving our function to the right 2 units. So now we can graph our function. And in this case, we kind of take everything and move them right 2 units. So if I have the point 1 and 4, if I move it to the right, that becomes 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. If we have the point 0, 1, that becomes 2 and 1. And then the point negative 1, 1 fourth becomes, moving it to the right, 2, 1, and 1 fourth. Good. So now let's label our points. We have 3, 4, 2, 1, 1, 1 fourth. All right. So here's a good graph of that function. And again, we know the general shape, which I want you to get, and then we have those three points. But notice that, that the three points aren't just negative one zero one. It's those points negative one zero one with the transformation involved. So the points one zero negative one now became three two and one. And so sometimes it's good to get that parent function before you do the transformation. Let's do another example. Let's say we want to sketch a graph of f of x equals a negative 5 to the x power minus 2. Okay, so for this case, let's go ahead and look at our parent function. And our parent function is f of x equals 5 to the x power. So let's get the points. So f of 1 is 5 to the 1 power, which is 5 f of 0 is 5 to the 0 power, which is 1, and f of a negative 1 is 5 to the negative 1, which is 1 fifth. So let's go ahead and quickly sketch this. You know, when you do the parent function, it doesn't have to be super fancy because we know we're going to trans do a transformation anyways. So we have 1, We have 1, 5, 0, 1, negative 1, 1 fifth. One, five, zero, one, negative 1, 1 fifth. Okay, so now let's sketch f of x equals a negative 5 the x power minus 2. Okay, so now we got to think, what is our parent function doing? Or what are the transformations being performed on our parent function? Well, we have a negative. Now, this negative is outside the function. 
So because it's outside the function, that means we're taking this graph and we're reflecting it over the x-axis. So we can do that. And then the minus 2 is shifting this down two units. So let's see if we can figure this out. That means the x-axis is going to be somewhere up here. Okay, the first thing I like to do is take care of my horizontal um, asymptote. Now, up to now, our horizontal asymptote has always been the x-axis, so we really haven't drawn it in because we've just used the x-axis. But in this case, we're moving our horizontal asymptote, and this only happens when we move up and down. We've moved it down two units. So let's go ahead and sketch in that horizontal asymptote at y equals a negative 2. Okay, so let's start off with this point here. We have 1 and 5. So if we reflect this over the x-axis, it becomes 1 and negative 5. And then if we go down 2 units, it becomes 1 and negative 7. So we have 1, 2, 1, 2 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 7. Then we have the point 0 and 1. We reflect it over, it becomes 0, negative 1, and then we move it down 2 units, so it becomes 0 and 1, 2, negative 3. Okay, so then we have the point negative 1, 1 fifth. It becomes negative 1, negative 1 fifth, and so negative 1 and there you go. So now how you label that one depends on where you are. Sometimes it's easier to say, oh, it's a negative. Let's see here. So let me do a little. Actually, we'll just label it this way. We have a negative one-fifth minus two, which is um, ten-fifths. So that's eleven-fifths. So it's a negative one and negative eleven fifths. Whoops. I should have drawn my graph first. Get it here. I just didn't want to forget that. So this is 0, negative 3, and this is 1, negative 7. Good. And that's a very good graph of this exponential function.